I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, which is a reaction. Well, this isn't even a reaction video. This is more of just me giving my thoughts. And that was uh, on tonight's Game of Thrones. And uh, I got to say, it's it's been a while since um, a Game of Thrones episode has been able to break me as much as this one did tonight. So, spoiler warning off the bat. For those of you who have not seen tonight's episode, if you ha if you haven't seen it, don't watch it. Amelia, I've had a bit to drink tonight because I need something to help me deal with the fact that this shit happened. But, spoiler warning, you've had it. If you watch it from here on out, hey, that's your own fault. But, um, I'm not really going to give a comprehensive uh, recap of the episode. I'm just going to focus on a couple of specific parts. Namely, the whole, the, um, the holy shit moments, if you will, of the episode. And that is, uh, we found out the origin of the White Walkers, like how the first one came to be, and it came from the Children of the Forest, because they needed a weapon to basically defend themselves against the uh, Andals who were heading up north. So it, it made sense, at, or at first I was confused, but later on it made sense. I'm like, okay, so they made a weapon to help def to help protect their land from the White, from the, not from the White Walkers, but from the uh, Andals that were pushing north, trying to take over the Children of the Forest land. It made sense once everything kind of came together. And, th and we find out that it's because a, well, the group of, or a group of the Children of the Forest were together, and then the one, I think her name's Leaf, plunged basically the, um, oh, what's it called, the Dragon Glass, I think it's called, into this dude's heart, and all of a sudden he becomes like his eyes go blue. It's like, oh shit, that's how they made the White Walkers. So I'm I'm assuming we'll get more information on that later. If not, it it, it at least explains how the White Walkers came to be. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was all like, wait, what now? And now what I was expecting was for the uh, Three Eyed Raven to be the Night's King. I was expecting that to happen, but that didn't fucking happen. Instead, what happened was Brad kind of like wakes out or wakes up from like a dream or, or from sleeping or whatever. Everybody else kind of still doze off doing their own thing. And then he touches like a root and then he ends up in the middle of like this army of the dead, like just this big fucking army of whites. that are just standing there, you know, hanging around, not doing anything. And then he walks through them, kind of maneuvers through them. And then he sees the Knights King. And three other uh, White Walkers. And it seems like the Night's King is, like, able to actually see him. And then Bran turns around and all the fucking Whites are turned and they are facing him. So he's like, um, shit. Then he turns around again and the Night's King is like, oh, hey there, buddy. Grabs his arm. He's like, no, get your hands off me, you damn white ugly thing. And... Bran wakes up and is like, uh, yeah, I, what? And the Three-Eyed Raven's like, uh, shit. Uh, yeah, he knows you're here. So you and your group of people need to get the fuck out of here now because we are no longer safe. And so they're all trying to do their escape and God... God damn it, another fucking dire wolf died. Summer died. And admittedly, some, I mean, most of the direwolves up to this point had, died, had like gone out in so anticlimactic ways, but Summer went out like a champ. And I want to say that Shaggy Dog was a red herring because of the size of the wolf head that uh, Small John Umber brought in. I want to say that's a fucking red herring, and that it's just, it's goading us into thinking, God damn it, all the wolves keep dying, what the fuck? I have to say, Shaggy Dog is still alive and kicking. We just don't know it yet. And at some point in this season, he's going to pop out and fucking bite fucking Ramsey Bolton's balls off. I don't know if it'll go down like that. And this could be in denial, but I do believe that Shaggy Dog is alive. Um, but I'm still waiting, you know, the bastard bull. Now, um, <clears throat> so Summer goes down like a champ, just trying to keep Brand safe. And it, that teared me up right there. I was like, God damn it, not another fucking dire wolf dying god fucking hell next thing you know we're gonna have at least one of the dragons die before the fucking series finale 
So they try to escape, and the dire wolf, or not the dire wolves, the uh, children of the forest, they try their damnness to keep the White Walkers and the Whites at bay. But it just doesn't pan out because, you know, the White Walkers, they can just, like, oh yeah, flight or fire? Oh, that's cute. Let me just walk right on through this. Oh yeah, what now? So the Children of the Forest, they desperately try to keep the Whites out. The Whites go around this, like, firewall that they built. So it's kind of like a virus that's trying to work its way around your fucking firewall. So they, like, start clawing at the uh, roof of this cave that they're in. And they actually get through. And so Bran, Mira, and Hodor make their escape with Leaf. And then Leaf's just like, you know what, guys, get the fuck out. So Leaf stays behind, blows herself up. Takes out a good chunk of whites with her. And then Hodor opens this, like, uh, stone door. Let's Mira and uh, Bran out. And then he closes the door and stays behind. And then Mira's like, hold the door. And it flashes into this scene where I was just like, oh, I, I shit, I know where this is going. Fuck, I'm tearing up right now just reciting it. But I'm just like, I know where this is going. I fucking know where this is going, and the episode's called The Door for a reason. <laughs> and so Hodor just holds the door, and despite the fact that these whites are breaking through, clawing at him and shit, he holds that fucking door as best as he can. And, Jesus. Fuck, I'm still tearing up about this, because t for me, this is worse than The Red Wedding. <laughs> This was so much worse than anything I've seen in Game of Thrones. Normally, I haven't really teared up at a Game of Thrones episode. And I would have my face cam on right now, but uh, because of the lighting and because of the fact that this is fucking... Uh, what time am I recording this? Uh, midnight, more or less. Yeah, the lighting's just not good. I was like, yeah, you won't get a good uh, idea of how I am. But right now, I mean, I got tears coming down my eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so Hodor holds the fucking door. Oh man, it's it's been a while since fucking TV's been able to make me like ball out like this. But Hodor, he holds that fucking door, and Bran and Mira make their escape. And oh fuck me. Oh god damn, it, this is hard to do. <laughs> I can't, I mean, look. Don't get me wrong, the Red Wedding, it, it shocked me, but it shocked me in a way that it just left me speechless, like, what the fuck just happened? What just happened? This one left me like, I just don't want to live anymore. I mean, not literally, but I was just like, God, you know, <laughs> I need a break, I need a breather, I need to like, <laughs> go outside, get some fresh air, just... God damn it. <laughs> I'm laughing and crying at the same time, so it's fucking weird. <clears throat> oh, lordy. Fuck, I still can't get over the fact that, you know, it's just a TV show. Don't get me wrong. I'm not like, oh my god, I'm going to lose sleep over this. It's it's more like, oh shit. <laughs> Odor, <laughs> fucking champion. <laughs> I think I've lost my mind because of this episode. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, so I figured you guys got it. Like, I, you know, I collectively just bawled my eyes out at this scene. <laughs> that was what I was trying to convey is because I can't do it on camera. I really wanted to, but I couldn't because of the lighting and the fact that... How many bulbs? Yeah, we're <laughs> two out of four bulbs down M. <laughs> My cat just, like, bolted across. <laughs> Speak which my other cat's not feeling too <laughs> good. He's just kind of, like, sheltering himself, like, uh, I'm not feeling well. Could you just fuck off, please? But, uh, yeah, hopefully I won't tear up again, but holy shit, this is really, this, this was a very hard video to do because of just the emotional response that this <laughs> episode got out of me. I'm trying to laugh just to prevent myself from bawling out even further because, god damn. Oh, we learned so much in this episode, and yet I'm still bawling my eyes out. 
All right, so I'm assuming that, I mean, I can't even imagine what Blind Wave's reactions can be, let alone the other, like, uh, Happy Cool and all the other people that, like, do their uh, routine Game of Thrones reactions. But me, this, the reason why I did a Season 4, Episode 10, like, reaction type thing was because it's like, holy shit, this big thing happened. Episode, or, um, I had actually caught up with the novel, so I knew what was coming in Season 5. That's why I didn't do a video on it. Plus, these, um, discussion videos aren't normally my niche, so it's not something I normally just gun to, but here it's like, god damn, you know, we've been with Hodor since fucking Season 1, Episode 1, and he, oh, damn it. Hodor went out like a champ, Summer went out like a champ. Hell, even the three-eyed raven went out like a champ, and Leaf went out with a yeah. Leaf went out like a champ, even though her and her kind of responsible for the White Walkers. I get why they made the White Walkers about the same time. It's like Jesus, fucking Summer and Odor in the same episode. This is like that's just too much. That's yeah, too much. And I'm sorry if I'm incoherent, but I'm still like trying to hold back the tears because this episode really just took a toll on me. And I like to consider myself like a hard guy that likes, you know, like, oh, yeah, oh, he died. Uh, yeah, that sucks, but not normally, or uh, not normally, but with this episode, no, I'm sorry. Emotions definitely got the better end of me. So with that being said, folks, I'm looking blight. Hopefully I'll see you in happier times. Hopefully we'll see you, Ramsey Bolt. Well, actually, I'm 90% certain that Ramsey Bolt's going to die this season, but Hopefully next episode we can say, you know, some, some people that fucking deserved it died. As opposed to just, fuck it, this episode. <laughs> fuck this episode for what it did to me. But at the same time, I love this episode because it was a very emotional episode that did a lot and explained a lot. And at the same time, it makes me want to do it some more. So this season so far, from start to finish, or from start to episode, I think this was five. So far, I've been a okay with it. Now, episode one, eh, it was okay. It was more of a recap of what happened at the end of season five. But yeah, besides that, two through five so far, thumbs up, all A's for me. So let me know what you guys thought. Um, did Hodor's death just fucking depress the fuck out of you, at least for an hour, like it did me, or? In this case, two to, or no, three hours, which I'm still fucking teary-eyed over it. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try to get some sleep now because I could use some fucking sleep <laughs> just to try to like, all right, think of happy things, think of happy things, you know, like, think of John and Sansa uniting the North and taking out Ramsey and then everything else is all happy and dandelions and yeah, it's fucking bullshit, but just try to pretend that this shit will happen. Anyway, folks, let me know what you thought about tonight's episode down below. I'm Luke of Light, and I shall see you all for whatever video I upload next.